Okay, this um, this is gonna be super short. People, if people talk good about you, what what a most what what a most high say? And I'm referring to his son because his son came in his word. Okay, when people speak well of you, woe to them. Okay, the people that are hated, those are God's people. People love the lie more than they love the truth. I have so many people that literally will be like, oh no, Paul, da, 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 da. they love Paul's lies more than they love the truth because they want to continue in their sinful life and get away with it. But if you really pay attention to the word of God, it don't add up. This is such a clear contradiction. Anyone that denies this is of Satan. Romans 13, 1. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been appointed by God. Okay, this is Hosea 8, 4. Out the Father's mouth himself, the word of Yahweh, Most High, yes. They set up kings, but not by me. I'm sorry, but not by me. They make princes, but without my approval. The very opposite of what God said. But people will continue to believe this lying Shaol because he said you were saved by grace. Most High said you will be judged according to every work you have done. And I'm not talking about mighty miracles, okay? That's a whole different. When they're talking about miracles and works, they have perverted the Bible. They have lied to you. They, the scribes have mistranslated everything. When it's talking about works, deeds, it's talking about you keeping God's law. When it's talking about miracles, it's, it's talking about performing signs and wonders, casting out devils, okay? Prophesying, that type stuff. That Marcus Rogers type stuff. The one that wants to be glorified. He, he wants the glory for himself. He's not, he's not even the worst one. His little, his little friend, his little, um, Tia, I, I don't know what his name is, something weird. Okay, Jackson is his real name, I believe, or his last name, I don't remember. He is the worst one. He is full of the Antichrist spirit. Everything he teaches is literally a twist to it. And then the perversions in the bible he says oh god showed me this and it, it literally be the perversion in the bible that's that's been perverted if if the most high was speaking to him why wouldn't he have showed him the perversion in the bible but yet he's confirming the perversion in the bible he's com confirming where the scribes altered it man y'all gonna learn when 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 the world loves somebody when everybody speaks well of one person man that that that's probably the shadiest one in a bunch the the person that cares more about pleasing you to get what they want out of you they care more about subscribers and and money than they do about your soul about about you going uh to the kingdom rather than going to the pits of hell that that person is the one you need to be going to the one that will tell you the truth no matter how much it hurts so you so so you won't have to go through the wrath of god because many people they're not gonna learn they're gonna have to go through the wrath of god i i had my my biological dad was one of them shot himself in the head because he was the most ignorant man i ever met in my life yes my daddy my biological daddy he was ignorant he refused knowledge it wasn't that it wasn't brought to him oh because i tried he refused it i showed him in the bible and he screamed i don't care i was like dad but look what god said and then and then look what paul said you know what he would literally nullify the word of god and then quote paul those type people 
will inherit what they deserve. That's why he went mad crazy and shot himself in the head. My brother's another one of them. He refuses the word of God. He literally, but but he tell me God is exaggerating when when it's the word of God. He like, that's exaggeration. Like lie is exaggeration means a lie. He tells me it's exaggeration and then quotes Paul. He didn't really mean that. He really meant, so really he's lying, you know? Yeah. The type of preacher that, you know, that sleeps with devil worshipers because he doesn't believe that we have to be saved by actually keeping God's glorious law. The one in Isaiah, it said he sent to he sent his son to glorify his law, not to do away with it. But y'all go ahead and listen to Paul. He tells you to nullify God's, God's law and to go according to man's law. The one that the Yashur told you was established by the devil. Go ahead and listen to him. If you want to. If you want to be in hell. If you want to feel the wrath of God because it's coming. The wrath of God is coming. Go ahead.